Hi all, thanks for tuning in to A Libra's Way. So I received a comment asking for a coin called Raven Coin, I believe, um, saying that it was like the next Bitcoin 3.0. Um, so I have not done any research on this intentionally um, and don't know pretty much anything about it at all. Um, I think <clears throat> just based upon what I'm hearing from the guides, um, not at all of regard, like it's, it's a very unbiased opinion. I have my own personal opinions, but from what they're saying, they're pretty much saying it's a lot of just hype at this point, at this point in time. That might not always stay the case, but definitely at this point, there are a lot of coins that are the wild, wild west, and people... Um, institutions are promoting them, are pumping them because it's a very quick way for them to make millions, hundreds of thousands, millions of dollars within, you know, a month span. And by promoting that something is a Bitcoin 3.0 um, or any sort of uh, Bitcoin when, you know, it has not been along nearly as long as Bitcoin or other cryptocurrencies that are considered consider blue chippers that have created the meaning or the idea of cryptocurrency essentially like they don't have the foundation so sure maybe 15 years from now if a lot of these companies a lot of these coins are around okay great then that's how we'll know but ultimately you know if it was not created prior to like 2000 and maybe 15 or something 2016, prior to Ethereum, I would say there's a very low chance that it will be considered a blue chip stock or this is what they're saying, or in other terms, like it will become something significant like that. So um, right now we have a lot of hype coins is what they're calling them. I don't know if that's a term. I just know the term meme coins and blue chip coins, but um, hype coins is what they're saying as like a generic name so i hope that this helps somebody obviously do whatever you want to do um you know there are profits to be made everywhere it's just a matter of doing your research and you know finding what's right for you um so anyways let's get going with this raven coin and it does seem like it has some good energy around it but it also feels like it could fall flat on its face just because there's not enough yeah there's not enough um of a backing do you see how this justice card with the seven of swords is here it's telling us that like there is a foundation they're trying to build but the foundation is unstable because there's deception it's not necessarily as strong as the others we have the two of wands. It's just showing like a lot of people are waiting for this fortune, for this abundance to come in. Um, so they're telling me this is like for the next six months. They're not telling me it needs to be one year worth, but just like a six month sort of prediction for this Raven coin. We have the two of swords. So the two of swords, again, is indecision. We have the two of wands and the two of swords. So it's like, again, there's a standoff. There's like a battle that needs to take place. It's like a duel that needs to be had out in order for like victory or loss to kind of be, um, to be accepted, whichever one, whichever side the, you know, you're on. So we have the uh, magician, the ace of wands. I have predicted in many of these readings, um, just based upon the cards, and based upon what they're saying is that like by April, a lot of things will have like kind of manifested into something massive. So there are also a lot of mainstream YouTubers out there and a lot of people that are in that sphere, that hub of crypto saying that the next six months will be the best time to essentially like take profits. Uh, we have the lovers here. So by it could be that there again, there's a decision to be made. People are going to have to make decisions, it feels like, 
by April regarding cryptocurrency, regarding the types of coins they want to be in. I also think that it feels, again, this notion of like, get whatever coins that you want to have, um, set yourself, set your foundation up, you know, by like springtime, because by summertime, it could be that regulations are hit and people start freaking out. Um, and maybe there's like a lock in some way. There's some, it's like uh, kind of like with the marking, with the marketing or with the housing crisis. I'm so sorry. Um, in 2007, 8, and like the 9 time frame, where there were a bunch of regulations that pretty much came in and said you have to have like 10, 15 different things. Now you can't just do whatever you want. It's not the wild, wild west anymore. We have to have some rules implemented. It could be something like that because it is true. Like there's so many of these random coins that people are creating and hyping up. And, you know, they're looking out but they're saying like the institutions are looking out for small investors because people are just going and they're just losing everything. People are going to be taking out, you know, crazy loans in the next few months, potentially. This is not for certain, but it just feels like people are going to like do anything to get a piece of, you know, the cryptocurrency uh, obsession, this phase. We have, again, um, the full card. So it feels like people are just kind of taking risky ventures. This feels like a riskier venture. It just feels like something that doesn't have the foundation. There's just a lot of talk. There's a lot of stuff that's being pumped out into, this, into the media. There's not necessarily a massive, massive following. There's not, there are not enough people that are like high up the totem pole that are promoting the coin or the that particular movement so it's kind of feels like if they're not then you should be cautious and I feel like there are going to be a lot of people that will get burned because when I see the knight of cups here it feels like there is some sort of like the waterfall kind of immediately I felt tears like sad tears so it could be that people are getting burned they're like losing things because again things like um this particular coin for whatever reason this is the reading so i mean i'm not controlling these things like i can't i have my own personal opinions but what they're telling me is like what they're telling me and what i'm trying to relate to you based upon my reading the reading that they're showing me and such um it does feel like there is going to be there are going to be a lot of tears but then it's kind of also like for the, for the strong ones, they're saying for the strong ones, there will be people that are celebrating and are lucky in, you know, making the decisions, getting out on time, like taking their profits on time, quote unquote. Um, at the bottom of the deck here, we do have the tower. So tower does resemble change. It is like associated with Scorpio season. This is Scorpio season. This is November. So it could be that there is a significant um, change in some way, positive or negative. The tower is divine, is divine intervention. So regardless of whether it's positive or negative, it's meant to come in in order to teach a lesson. It could be to teach people in November this lesson of like making wise decisions is what it feels like. Um, so for this Raven coin, I'm going to pull a few of these Intuit Oracle cards, not too many. They're saying I only need like six. So I'm going to take half of the deck. I just cho chose half of this deck and I'm going to choose six cards. What is coming out for Raven coin? Two. Okay, there's like one trapped here, which we will take. Wow, that one flew out really far. So let's get this. Okay. 